Hey everybody, I'm Carlotta Champagne, and today we are here with another clothing haul. I think my boobs are a little too big for this. I like fringe a lot, so this is fun for me. I lost my tail. Somebody stole my bike. That is a very sexy Pocahontas. We are gonna be doing some Halloween costumes, and I thought that I would start with one that I did last year. I was a punk skunk. So last year I had like anarchy symbols all over me, and I was like crazy black makeup, and like spiked jackets, it was great. Basically, the only part of the real costume that I had to put together was getting some ears and getting a tail. I actually had a thing of silly string, and I would spray people. It was really fun. You can do a lot of things with just some ears and a tail, but we got some other outfits to check out and there's some good ones, some that I put together, some that are bagged. We'll kind of talk about the good things and the bad things about all of these. Let's check out all my sexy outfits. And we're back. So I got these really awesome um, bag costumes from Starline LA. Really just very convenient. If you need a quick costume, these are mostly like a one size fits all. They work quite well for what they are. This one is called the Maiden of the Throne. It's clearly Game of Thrones. It's supposed to be Daenerys or Khaleesi or whatever you wanted to call her. It's a great look for that. It's, it's sexy, but it still covers. Um, I think my boobs are a little too big for this. They're trying to escape the costume, but I, I think most people it'll fit them okay. I'm just kind of, I'm a little curvy, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of got this cool like fetish feel to it. I like the, the strappy bondage feel. It makes it a little edgy and still exotic. So let's check it out. I like that you get the leg peaks. You guys will have to tell me which ones you like the most. And of course, there's a lot of stuff I can't show on YouTube. Always go to my Patreon for that. I do the behind the scenes and, you know, some of these costumes are really funny to get in and out of. Like this one, I had to read directions. I'm like, okay, where does this thing go? I had to look at all the pictures. It ends up being entertaining, but I have to cut some stuff. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna go to the next one. And we're back. So this is another Starline LA costume. Let me throw that one in front. And this is their hippie. Um, it's a really cute little costume. I think this would be great for people who are needing a you know quick bagged costume. These are perfect. And they're decently made. I like fringe a lot, so this is fun for me. I am a complete 60s and 70s nut. I have massive vintage collections of clothing. Going for like the hippie look, I'd probably go for something a bit more authentic, but I think for most people, this is perfect. I do like that they have touches of what you would be going for in that era. You've got like the 60s flowers, you've got the headband, kind of a psychedelic print, fringe. They put it all in one. So let's check it out. I like the way fringe moves. It makes it look like you know how to dance, which I do not, so don't tell anybody. Okay, and on to the next costume. And we're back. Can you guys guess who I am? Do I have a tail? I don't have a tail. Oh no, I lost my tail. I'm a sexy Minnie Mouse. <laughs> I had ears and a tail, but they've gone to the abyss. But I bet you guys already know who I am anyway because of the gloves, because of the polka dots, because of the buttons. I have so many costumes that I've just shot in and saved over the years. And this is one of them. I can't bring myself to get rid of it. It's just so cute. I love the whole Minnie Mouse Disney thing and turning it sexy. There's something really naughty about it and I like that. Anything like Disney that you just kind of bring over the top, I'm for it. I'm cool with that. So sexy Minnie Mouse is pretty perfect for me. If I was gonna wear this to like a party, I'd draw on like a little mouse nose and maybe some whiskers, but for now, you guys get the hint. You get the idea of what it's supposed to be. Let me know what you think. Let me know which outfit's your favorite. I feel like I can do the bend and snap. 
I think that we are probably assuming that Minnie is the most bangable, but I actually always really like Daisy Duck. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe like Goofy. I don't know. Okay, let's go on to the next outfit. I've got another one and it is Disney themed, but naughty again. Okay. And we're back. So this costume, I purchased it um, at a costume shop from TV shows and movies that are done filming, and it was labeled Pocahontas. And I put it on and I'm like, that is a very sexy Pocahontas. I'm not quite sure where it came from because they do actually get a lot of Disney costuming there, but I can't imagine Disney putting anyone in this. But maybe, you know. <laughs> So anyway, this is the sexiest Pocahontas costume I have ever seen. I don't think that was really her intent, but check it out because it's really beautiful. The beadwork, the feather work, I don't know if it's quite as, uh, native as they're going for. It's definitely costumey, but it's actually done really well. You can tell that it was done for production. So I hope you guys like it. This one's definitely one of my favorites, um, but I don't find a lot of places to wear it. So <laughs> it just kind of sits in my collection. I have a very large collection of show pieces specifically at home. So this one just sort of stays in with them and eventually it will find the right moment to make its appearance. Next outfit, it's gonna be my last outfit, and it's a fun one, so stay tuned. Can you guys guess who I am? I'll give you a hint. Somebody stole my bike, and I'm pretty sure it was you. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was Francis. So if you guys can guess, I'm a pinup Pee Wee Herman. This is something I decided to put together for Comic-Con. It's perfect for conventions. It's perfect for Halloween. It's perfect for cosplay. There's so many things you can do with it. Um, I forgot my top though, so we're just going with the bra. But we said this was a sexy haul, so we're sticking to our theme. Um, let me just toss this, okay. So, <laughs> so this is just an apron that, um, there's a girl on Etsy that makes these and I just thought, oh my gosh, that would be the cutest pinup thing. So usually when I do Comic-Cons, I wear a shirt underneath and that way, you know, my top tops aren't falling out. But for like a sexy Halloween thing, you could go with no top at all. It's still covering you and you get some good side boob action. So anyway, check it out. Like I said, bag costumes are great, especially if you are in a rush. If you have some time to put something together, it will be remembered. That's what's cool about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my costume haul. Halloween is just around the corner. I'm so excited. I dress up every day whether I'm going out or not. So I'll just be sitting at home taking selfies in my Halloween costumes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Check out my Patreon links below. I've got lots of goodies and of course all the in-between stuff and you know, things I can't post on YouTube. So check it out and I will see you next time.